what, what, this? Hello everybody, I'm the Devil. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, The Lord Scroll Campaign Episode 2. Can I just say I love this fucking game? It's just so much fun. I played a, I played a, uh, this game quite a bit off screen now. Uh, I've got a uh, high elf campaign with my buddy going on, but also a lizard man call campaign going on with my buddy. So yeah, I've got a lot of experience with this game now. Anyway, in the last episode, our invasion of Lastria began. Yes, yes. And uh, we wiped out one of the uh, lizard men tribes, I guess? We, we wiped out one of them. And in this episode, we are going to harvest more warp zone. Yes, yes. Uh, for the portal. We're at 52. We're getting 15 a mission. Holy freaking crap. Alright, we only need, what, 350? Yeah, okay. So we're actually, we're actually on the way. Um, so yeah, this episode we're going to get more warp stone. Uh, we've actually got a lot of money in the bank. Holy cow. Are you full stack? I am the Plague Lord. Also, we made Whack-A-Mole Crater because it was just too much fun. Scaven corruption, income from more buildings. Hmm. So the the untainted thing is apparently like chaos slash vampiric corruption. It's that sort of thing. And Skaven have their own corruption. Um. So yeah, I guess it just uh, adjusts that. Yeah, Skaven corruption plus one. There it is. Uh. But yeah, I don't. Let me see. Let's have a look what we're doing over here. We've got. We can make night runners from here, right? Yeah, night runners. We've got our military buildings there. So from here. I feel like we need to level up one of our buildings to level 3. Oh, two turns we'll get level 3. Level 3 is when you get the really cool buildings. In the, uh... I mean, I mean in the Lizardman campaign, just from my experience, just wait until you get the Beast Lair. And just make Bastillodons, because they're OP as shit at the moment. They don't die. And they can just wreck an entire... They, they can kill about 500 on their own without dying. And so you have a couple of those, you'll just win every battle. Alright, so. We could wage war on the Dwarves. Um, but the thing with the thing with the dwarves is that they're incredibly tanky, and we're going to need an incredible uh, numbers advantage to sort of win there. So what we're going to do is, what the hell is this loyalty? Oh no, they put loyalty in this, and I thought the days of, uh, damn it all. Well, it makes sense. As I said, uh, Skaven are always out to get you. So one to six loyalty. I'm guessing the higher number is the better. We'll have a loyalty level within this range. Loyalty is a measure of willing willingness. Lord's loyalty reaches zero, they will rebel, take their army to form a new faction. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Alright, so we want to form one that's actually a high level. Uh, the Graces would actually, I mean, they'd be mages, so that they'd actually be pretty, uh, uh, pretty useful. Here, we'll go with this guy, because the Ruin is the new lore, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's have a look what we got. Night Runner Slings, Decent Melee Combatant Dodge. No. Oh, they're like... Yeah, they'd actually be useful. Uh, Night Runners... See, they have they have uh, a ranged weapon as well. Yeah, we're gonna go with a couple of them. I am not gonna waste my time with Skaven Slaves. It's not worth it. Let's go with Clan... Oh my god, so... They're all fucking shit. I guess we'll just go with the ones that have shields. There we go. Alright. Uh, oh, we just took this so we can't actually move. Alright. Uh, should we activate a right? Nah, we're fine. I am the Plague Lord. lord. Alright, Loathsome Appearance. Causes terror, that would be really useful. Unlocks Hero Plague Priest. Scaven Corruption plus 5. Public Order minus 5. No! I don't want debuffs to Public Order. Please don't. Alright. What is... What do we get? Spawns a unit of Playmore. So this is weird. You start off with all these abilities, yet you have to unlock them anyway. It's kind of weird. Oh wait, I think they changed it. So you you get a cooldown bonus, and then you if you upgrade it again, you get a Winds of Magic cost reduction. That's really good. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, all right, I think we'll go with the the debuff, and we'll go with causes terror. Okay. An army of one is what Lord Scrock will be. Anyway, that was the longest intro of my life. Here we go. Wow. Oh man, but no, seriously now. I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. Every time I use Teclos, I get a wicked boner. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, lizard men are a lot of fun. The only faction I haven't tested out yet is Dark Elves. And that's just because they're the only faction that doesn't interest me. Uh, what? <laughs> Alright. I'm not sure about 
what diplomacy really means between the Skaven. I mean, they know how to unite when it matters most, but uh, in this game, forming a non-aggression pact with other clans might just be as useful as a non-aggression pact with Beastmen. They'll just end it immediately. Ooh, quest issue, the Liber Bubonicus. This Liber Bu Bubonicus, this thing will win us any battle. We'll never lose. The Liber Bubonicus, a rancid tome full of vile lore collected by Pestilence Plague Lords, is currently in Skrog's possession. In a devious move, his minions led a large expedition from the Old World down into the long-abandoned mortuary of whatever, via a trail of worthless trinkets leading deep under the ruined pyramid. A few of the greedy fools were lost to ancient traps. That's, uh, the lizard men are fucking cool that they have, like, Aztec pyramids, sort of. Oh, Aztec pyramids, that makes no sense. You know what I mean? They have, like, ancient ruins full of, like, booby traps and things like that. But most made it to the sacrificial chamber. There, on a simple stone plinth, rested the Liber Bubonicus. If the book was left closed, they may have lived. But one of the man things opened the Liber Bubonicus, and from its pages spouted a thousand plague flies. Oh, God. The swarm buzzing, biting, laying eggs, and spreading an awful pox. The ploy worked, the horned rat is surely pleased, yet Skrulk is weary and must now recuperate. So you planted it there just to kill some dudes? Alright, sounds very scary to me. Mission issued. Capture and occupy the following settlement. Altar of the Horned Rat. I don't know where that is. Where the fuck is the Altar of the Horned Rat? Take us there now. Alright, it's to the north, nice. We get Warpstone and money, alright. Um, so that's another Skaven faction, right? Mark of the Old Ones. Oh, they have it too. If I form a military alliance and they accept, do we will we still complete that quest if, that, if that's what happens? Um, hold on. Uh, Libby Bubonicus. I oh, know it's this. Capture and occupy. Yeah, that's annoying. We'll have to attack our fellow Skaven. I guess it would only count if we confederate them. Oh, well, well, whatever. Alright, let's just hope the dwarves leave us alone. They're at minus 36, I think we have time. I guess... We'll go over here. This is probably the slowest I've ever played a campaign. <laughs> but this is honestly just because it's so precarious at this game. All hail, Hornet Rat! Alright, we'll just get some shields and another spear. That's pretty much all we can do. Oh, we can upgrade these buildings again. You know what? Fine. Uh, at level 3, gutter runners. Yep, we're going to get level 3. I want level 3 military buildings. Oh, yeah. Our food supply is going down, I just realized. Do you lose food with more lords you have? That would make sense, but I don't really know. So, yeah, a military alliance. I don't think that would count as us as capturing and occupying it. Military lines, you get a lot of benefits, but I don't think that's one of them. You don't, re unless they're a vassal or a confederate, you don't really get their territory. Skeggy, apparently we're fighting chefs. All right, we have our level three thing finally. Ensure that one of the following buildings has been built. Assassin's hideout. Don't worry, we'll get it. Ooh, here we go. Filthy, haunty man things. There is a dead empire army for us to pick through. Yet the disbelieving general lives, offering you power if you let him live. Why would? Let offer me power. No, fuck it. I want the loyalty, boy. All right, level three. We get storm vermin. Oh yes, but what do we need? Construction cavern. All right, well we need to get that immediately. Construction cavern. <gasps> oh, we can get siege warlock engineers, warp lightning cannons, rat ogres. See what I mean? See what I freaking mean? While rat ogres are really good, uh, we need this to get the storm vermin. Oh, actually, that was just um. We need a warp forge for the stone and uh, uh, sword and shield ones. What's a warp forge? Fuck is a warp forge? Oh, it's the upgraded one. Okay, we'll go for that then. All right, rip my money, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, slaven. Oh god, no. I don't want skaven slaves. They're so useless. All right, am I actually wait uh, until? We might actually wait until the storm vermin's finished made, and then we'll start recruiting stuff. All right, are there Skaven here? I imagine so. Oh no, okay. Colonize the settlement. All right. Uh, how much food? Oh my god, twenty. We're losing food at the moment, isn't there? Yes, yes. Yeah, give us food, goddammit. Yeah, I like to go with that because you get money and growth. 
Why are we actually losing food? Army upkeep, settlement upkeep. Yeah, well that's annoying. Mark of the old ones. Pestilent aura. Let the bell scream, scream. Apparently only 5% of players currently only chose Lord Skrok. Uh, the most popular hero is Tyrion with 30%. I can see why Tyr people like Tyrion. He is actually a lot cooler than I thought he'd be. But come on, Lord Skrok. He has a poison flail that he slams around. That is easily the coolest thing in this game. Come on now. Alright. Oh, thanks for the free warp stone. Loyalty again. Boiler of the Contagious. What the hell? Warpstone. <laughs> yeah, Warpstone. Alright, he'll just he's gonna be sitting there for a while. Look at my paunch. See how large it is. I am the fatter rat. <laughs> I am the fatter rat. I love these guys. Uh, Alright, we're gonna do a defensive alliance there, just in case dwarves attack us. All right, mission aborted. All right, looks like we're not getting the money. Yeah, I thought so. Oh well. So it's kind of it's kind of awkward that by default the Skaven's stance is ambush, because ambush can actually turn against you. Ambush doesn't mean you're invulnerable. Um. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we can upgrade this. Nice. Get some public order going on. But yeah, ambush doesn't mean you're invulnerable. If someone is able to break through your ambush detection, then you're the one who gets ambushed. Much to my dismay when I tried to ambush Beast and then I just got completely fucked up. Um, so that actually can be used against us. Um, so yeah, we have to uh, watch out for that. This has been a real slow start for my scroll campaign. Although in my Mazda Mundi campaign that I'm playing with a friend of mine, I had so many Norska armies on my doorstep. I had to real time each and every one. It was really annoying. All right, whack a mole crater. You get priority. Priority. And see, we'll lose population points by doing this. Level three income, scam, and corruption. That's public order. We can upgrade that. You know what? We'll wait. We'll get a level four building, and then we can make the thing that gets us red ogres. I think that's probably the best way to do it. I am the Plague Lord. I'm really concerned that we're losing food now. I really don't want to lose food, but whatever. Come on. There we go. Province secured. Expanding our territory. For what reason? Fuck you, that's what reason. Alright, we're gonna go for this as well. Because when you settle, you lose... Uh, you use up your army, so we want better regen. Alright. I think we're gonna... Whoa! <gasps> There's the Warpstone Generator right there. Ritual Resource Site. Here. What's the... What's the diplomacy with us at the moment? I have many, Trusted many friends. Slaves. Do you, you want them? Do you, you want them? Yes, yes! Alright. It's success is low at the moment. Alright. It's gonna it's gonna skyrocket now. So when it hits 120, we're gonna confederate and we'll get our resource site. See? Diplomacy! I am the first diplomatic rat of our time. Worship me, heathens. Alright. Who is this? Is this a... Alright. I think that was Lizard Men for get the fuck off my property, you rat bastard. And this guy... Skink, uh, what the hell are these guys called? Spittle. Or we'll just call them Spitties. Spitty is already at war with them, so I think instead of going to war with the dwarves, we will go to war with lizard man. I always feel the need to... Man, this is really annoying. I always feel the need to sort of lay out my thinking so you guys understand why I do what I do. So when it backfires and you yell at me, then at least there's some clarity there. I guess what's annoying is when you're... What do you want? Join war against? Yeah, I will. Not yet, though. Just hang on. But yeah, usually dwarves will just stick in their, uh, stay in their holds for the entirety of the game. Unless you happen to be a mortal enemy of them, which is what Skaven are. Because uh, if you play as Krokgar, 
you spawn next to Karak 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 something. And they will issue to sit there. But I guarantee, since we're scaven, these guys are gonna leave their homes and attack us. Loyalty low. Trait gain. So the way traits work in this game is that they actually go up and down depending on how well you do. Um, so the, the better we do with Lord Scroll, because that trait will actually go up. They're adjustable. So it gives you added incentives there, which is really nice. Um, what is this? Weapon Borrow? Alright, that goes up to level 5. We don't want that. Let's just get something that's... Death Glow Bombard... You know what? Yes, we're gonna do it. Oh my god. What do we need for this? Warp Turbine Plant. I don't know what that is. Which one is Warp Turb... Really? Level 5? That's... I mean, we get the Doom Wheel, so we're definitely gonna go for it, but... When we make this, anything we can get a Poison Wing Globe it is. Oh, that'll have to do. Dude, Skaven gets some really cool stuff. I'm just gonna say it. Gutter Runner Slingers! Gutter Runner! We're gonna make an Assassin... Alright, we need to be careful with our money. Alright. Your loyalty is what, four? Don't worry, your time will come. Where are the Storm Vermin? I'm still not used to all these pictures, forgive me. Have some siege with you. And we'll make another Night Runner. There we go. His time will come, don't worry. And we're losing four food a turn. Alright, we need to attack. Alright. I think... My eyes gone, but I see... Yeah, my eyes gone, but I see. Yeah, the regen on off Skaven is really slow right about now. Oh, we need to issue a commandment, derp. Food generates tax rate. Uh, oh, let's go with that. So yeah, we're, it's a bit precarious at the moment. But don't worry. Once Skrulk's fully healed, then we'll start going the offensive again. And I guess you could settle, uh, you could settle new settlements with like an empty army, so it doesn't take anything away. It just, it just costs more money. A conversation with them must go on for fucking ages. <laughs> uh, Clan Sky, I think that's no Clan Moors is what Creek is. We need to find Clan Moors and team up with him. If we can confederate him and get a second legendary lord, then that would be epic. Okay. Research of technology. Hey, we can finally do that now. Ferocious plants. Research the following items uh, to advance this Gaven's vicious, uncompromising agenda to another level. Is there anything that gives us food? Why would you go for melee defense and charge bonus on slaves? They're literally useless. Unless you have, like, one army that is purely slaves, just to, like, double them up with Skrulk, then that could actually work. Because that would seriously just overwhelm the enemy if you have a 20 stack of nothing but slaves. But even then, I'm like, eh. Alright, Storm Vermin Halberds. They are the only ones we can make at the moment. And they're annoying because they're anti-large because they're Halberds. Alright, well, it'll have to do. If it's about a date, it'll have to wait. 15 Garrison, we're going to be here all fucking day. A bold move. Okay. If we join your war, here, let's. There. Now. Now you can go there. Nice. Man, they really want me to upgrade. I'm saving up for level 4. Alright, I might actually only get a couple Storm Vermin and then send them up with Skrull because we need to attack someone fast. Because we are deteriorating. This is this is usually the reason why I, I fail with uh, like Horde type factions. Because you can't really sit around because... I mean, with, with Greenskins you lose fightiness. And with 
uh, Norska, you just lose, mo you just gain no money, so you're just in debt the whole time. So you have to constantly be raining and things like that. Vol's expedition. That sounds pretty badass. Look at that face. I <laughs> uh, love that. Ferocious plans. Yes, yes. Uh, driven by hunger. Clan rat recruits. That's useful. And income from. Yes, we want all that. I'm guessing. Yeah, they must be linked to buildings. Alright. Two more. Very nice. I did tell you to attack, right? I'm not... Although there's an army there, maybe you should attack him. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, since we'll be sitting here... Why don't we just get one night runner? There we go. Alright. We've literally done nothing for eight turns. We're losing food. But it's a cost of doing business, I guess. At least we have Whack-A-Mole Crater still. Which is generating us one warp stone. Very nice. Yes, yes. So many factions, and this one forced, uh, forced fast forward. I think that's what actually I'm going to do. I'm actually going to make another lord and make him entirely of uh, Skaven slaves. They'll lose a lot of battles for sure. Actually, they won't, because we will be doubling them up. There's nowhere I'll send them in by themselves. But I think that's what we're going to have to do. At least until we get, like, Doom Wills and things like that. Thanks for the money. Appreciate it. Alright, you... Alright. Alright. One more. They'll all be done on the same turn, so that's good. Alright, we have buildings to make. You... You... What is this? Income from all buildings. Untainted local recruitment costs. So the public order buildings actually give you money as well. And since the eco is so bad, you get the money anyway, so... Alright, we're just going to build that because it costs 200 and we'll easily net back the money it cost. By the time we need something else. Oh my god. Regen, please. Where are you going? Are you attacking that? Alright. So risk strength rank 5 for doing nothing, really? Alright. Hopefully, if we can confederate him, we'll be in such a strong place. The goal is to make all of Lustria ours. We want this entire... If we get this entire island to be ours just because of the way the world's made up, then no one will be able to do, uh, stop us for a very long time. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Mazda Mundi's on this same island. Mazda Mundi and Teclas, actually. So there goes my plan. <laughs> I'm not going to stop Teclas any time. Actually, I can't wait to fight the High Elves, because they're so powerful in this game. Especially their, their tier 4 or 5 units. Are just, they're just out of this world. Alright, come on. End the turn. Scheme of Doom! Performed. Nice. Here, you. Go help me out, you dirty rat. I can call them that, because they are actually rats. Alright, I'm pretty sure Teclas starts here. And Mazda Mundi starts right here. And there's Skaven there, and Dark Elves there. Empire, and I can't remember what's here. But whatever. Hmm. Alright, you. All hail Horned Rat. So in Warhammer, pretty much every faction has their own god. The Skaven, it's the Horned Rat. And on the Council of Thirteen, there's only 12 Skaven. The 13th is for... Um... Is for the Horned Rat. Regenerate food by raining? Oh, yes, please. Okay. Destroy, decay for pestilence. For, for, for pe pestilence. Oh, no, we're not doing that. We're... I want to get some money back. We've been spending a lot of money on buildings. So, I want to just take a little break from that. You stay right there, dwarves, with your diamond mines. We'll come get you soon enough. So, the downside with raiding is we can't actually regen our troops. And also, I think we're tired in battle. Or winded, I think. So, our vigor takes a penalty. Yeah, he 
better be loyal. Alright. What does this right do? Diplomatic relations with Skaven? Yes, please. Food generated. So this is like a last ditch effort, pretty much. P Pestilence Clanstone. I might do this. Because it lasts for 13 turns, only costs 1300. Ooh. Hello. Right performed. Alright, we're going to do that. Because... Hold on, I'm just checking public order in all these places. Okay, we're positive. Because... I'm hoping with the bonus relations... Look at my pawns. See how large it is. He's not going to join, is he? No. Alright. No. Why is he not listening to me? You're still at war with him, you've realized. You buffoon. Alright, so he's got a 15 garrison here. And he's recruiting units. Alright, that's a that's a bit of a problem. We've done as many turns this episode as we have done in the last episode, and yet no battles. This is a first to me in recording Warhammer videos. There's usually like two, three, four battles an episode. We haven't had one yet. And this one's going to be a doozy because I'm pretty sure this is a walled city. Yeah, it, it is a walled city. 15 garrison. And usually we want a, a numbers advantage, like 10 to 1 when you're Skaven. So, <laughs> this is not going to work out too well. I love the forest in this game. That's so beautiful. Just the landscape in general. Why does it slow down now? Alright. Unhappy populace. Oh, it's an event. You bastard. Alright. Technology. Strength in numbers. Clan rats. Casualty replenishment. Yes. Always more beside. Lovely. Alright, we can upgrade that. In six more turns, we have enough population to get to tier four. Where we get another warp stone, we get more food growth. Okay, nice. You get food with each level up. That, that's useful. Who are you guys? Vampires? Oh, we're supposed to sign a non-aggression pact with you guys. I guess vampires and rats get along. Whatever. Hey, warp stone plus four. Yes, yes. So we're at 133 plus 11. In two turns, we can actually perform our first ritual. <gasps> oh my god. We're gonna get there, boys. Let the bell scream, scream. Oh yeah, the shrieking bells. I forgot about them. Yeah. Alright. This is not gonna work out at all. <laughs> I thought so. Alright. So he's got Pterodon Riders... Cold one, Feral Bastilodon, and two Croxitagors. Just from my experience with Lizardmen, these three units here would wipe out our entire army anyway. So, what we're going to have to do is literally wait eight turns. Because that is an amazingly powerful garrison. That army there, yeah, we'll take out in seconds. The Feral Bastilodon, no. No chance. Absolutely no chance. Although, for some reason, his charge bonus is only 28. It's supposed to be much higher than that. Oh, well, whatever. Um, here, we'll just go for Siege Towers, just so we at least have something. Fight my, my brothers. I don't think even my skill with this game, I cannot break that. If these guys would actually join in the fight, which I don't think they can anymore. Alright, well, whatever. At least we'll be getting money. The only bad thing is we'll be losing food. So, thing is, I think we'll have him raiding next turn. Unassigned skill points. Say what? Fight, fight, fight. I don't know why you would do that. Oh, local enemy province. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Um, Plague Rush. Yeah, we're going to actually upgrade that. Because I want to get the second tier. Alright. It's kind of annoying that Sunderman upgrades on notifications. I don't like that at all. There must be a way to turn that off. Because by the end of the game, we're going to have a lot of settlements which we can upgrade, but there's not really a point. It's just going to dig into your treasury. Because you've got, like, the same building 18 times over. There's really... Uh-oh. <laughs> this is outside, and they have the... Get you bastards. I don't see how we're going to get this. I honestly don't see how we're going to get it. We're literally going to need about a 5-to-1 ratio. <laughs> 
Please, don't be a dick. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna have to go back anyway. Because the dwarves are here, as I said. Well, lost mistake they'll ever make. At least we actually get to fight the Dowry. We're losing food, though. I don't like it. Oops, sorry. Alright. So. He's got a place there with the 12 garrison. 8 garrisons. Alright, you know what? Fuck this guy. We're going home. We're in really deep trouble. <laughs> if the Lizardmen decide to attack, we're in super deep trouble. Because we've already got minus leadership growth and public order, just from our... Just from our low food. The food, that only generates us one. Alright, we're gonna have to make some changes. We're gonna have to sacrifice our... Money... For food. Alright, hopefully that should fix it. Oh man. This is really gonna hurt us. <laughs> Uh, I think those turns I spent getting those settlements and having to wait on Skulk replenishing. But then again, he still has a 15 garrison. You got some balls attacking me, you know that? Yeah, we're at zero food now. Like, net, at least. Oh, he hasn't got anything there. Alright, nice. I'm guessing he's got an army here. Have to really be careful we don't lose anything. You! Go take this and be a nice man about it. Don't worry, boys. Skaven are gonna win this fight. Even if it takes us a hundred years. Like it took the destruction of Karagate Peaks, we will win. Even if we're to summon the Council of Thirteen, we will win. The Under Empire doesn't lose. Alright, they're going up there. At least we made friends with one... Like, we at least we made friends with one good clan. Or good friends with one clan. One fifty-four. Oh, yeah, it was 350, not 150. What am I talking about? Two turns. Good one. Oh, he's... Damn it. Damn it, dwarves. Oh. They're actually gonna make... Okay. They're really gonna make us do this, aren't they? Who the hell... Oh, that has to be dark. Okay. What's this? Must spread our own corruption. Alright. There. So if you're ever low on food, then there we go. Thank god public order is only minus one though. Alright, next turn we'll be able to get some fighting. I promise you guys that. I thank you so much for continuing to watch. <laughs> the everlasting stalemate of Lord Skrulk. Okay, ruthless plans. Growth, recruitment, public order, leadership, loyalty. Hmm. Is there one that just gives us food? I want food.
Hmm. I think we're gonna go up here. And we'll actually make some more clan rats then. Yeah, because we have plenty of clan rats. Hello! Finally! <laughs> A victory! Alright. Um. Leave nothing! I think we'll raise it. Nothing stands, nothing lives. Cause that is actually part of Oh, it goes up there. Okay. Who's up there? Who the fuck are you? Oh! Hello! Oh, thank goodness we spawned next to so many. Here, please accept. I said please accept. Now, now, accept. Alright. Wait, what clan is that? I don't recognize the banner. Is that Clan Sky? It is! Oh, nice! Dude, another, another Skaven Alliance. Yes. Okay, good. Can we not trade? Good, good. Alright. We should have bonus... I guess that right actually helped us, because... We would have had 13 more. Ooh, hello. Who's that? Uh-oh, Teclis is here. And he's got his phoenix. Color me in trouble. Alright, you should be able to beat a garrison of six. Come on. Come on, you useless swine. Thank you. Get put in the ground, dwarves. Alright. Uh, do we wanna... Collect precious things for me, me. I think this is the one we want. Yeah. Because the other one has the diamond mine? No. Yeah, that is the diamond mine. Nice. Okay. There's a fucking full stack there. We're gonna be, we're gonna be besieging it for ages, aren't we? Why are these people friends with me now? Did we, are we not a war? I have no idea what's going on. Peace treaty. Oh. Well, fine. Fuck you too. No one likes you anyway. Dick. Alright. Teclis is right there. We're gonna head back down to get that. Local. Fuck it. We'll make some clan rats. Warp Lightning. Overcast Spell Bombardment. Yeah. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. We've been zapped by that quite a few times. Okay, we're at plus ten food now, boys. Plus ten. <laughs> the age of the rat is here. Here. Tribute is demanded. Please be nice, Teclas. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> we literally just met! Well... Teclis didn't have a full garrison, uh, a full stack, but he is high elves. <laughs> oh man, this is really heating up now, it's funny. As long as those dwarves stay in their bearded skull mines, that's fine with me, you can stay there. In fact, I might take this and then just try and issue peace, they fuck off. And he's got a second army, well, great. We're in a lot of trouble now, boys, a lot of trouble. Alright. He's got something down there, right? Is that the same faction? It is. Oh, music to my ears. Alright. Go over there. Oh, are you shitting- Oh, because it's a siege thing. Two warriors, two miners, two quarrelers, two thunderers. Uh, we'll make- Yeah. You will fight. You die, die. With, that, with the Siege Towers, and we actually have a hope in hell of winning. Yeah, you want to you wanna do something with me, boy? Mind if I roll need? Alright, yo. Dickhead. Spitty. Did he just... No. Sounded so much like he just called me a wanker. Alright. These guys are Dark Elves, right? No, they're Lizard, then. You're at war with Teclas. Do you think we could have peace then? No. Fucking slam mage. I don't see Teclas and it's getting me worried. Get me nervous. Alright. 
I don't see Teclas' army. I'm a little bit worried. Actually, can we upgrade this to level 4 yet? Two more turns, right. That's the problem with Skaven. You have to outnumber the enemy so much, otherwise you lose. And our upkeep is only 350, and our food's at minus one. Oh, because we've got another upkeep. Okay, well, that's annoying. Uh-oh. Oh, that's... Whatever that is, a garrison's got to hold it. Come on. Garrison of six versus a lord and one guy. I like to think that we have that. If we upgrade this, we actually get food. So we're going to do that. We can still get that. All right. Yeah, you can add Skaven to your list of enemies. That's what you get for not joining against me with Teclas. Or joining against Teclas. So, yeah. Thanks for the Warpstone, dickhead. We lose money? Yeah, fine. Meet me, me, Warpstone, brothers. Alright, I don't actually want this, but I'm going to take it anyway. Ability Power Stone. Oh, nice. Because we now have a ritual site. Garrison of 8. Garrison of 13. There's Teclas. Golden Ziggurat. Great Turtle Island. What a name. Okay. You're still sieging, yes, yes? Can we recruit while you're doing this? No. You die, die. Trixie. Sneaky. Mm. Uh, this one point per thing is really annoying. I'm still not sure about this move, but we're going to go for it anyway. There we go. Next turn, we can get evasion. Oh, man. I'm really just venturing into unknown territory now. I've got dwarves that could easily wipe me out if they decided to leave. I've got Teclas on my doorstep. I've got, technically I'm still at war with those lizard men. Whatever they're called. But. Eh. I have seen your, your name listed in the... Defensive Alliance. Do 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 do. The Rebel Alliance. Do 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 do. Dude, he's got nice territory. I think our own, our, not our only hope, but I think our best hope of survival is to just unite the clans. We'll pretend scroll because like Genghis Khan. We'll just unite everyone. Alright. Minus two food. Every time we claim a territory, it goes down. Which is annoying. Here, yeah, for the last time, attack him. Although, to be honest, they probably won't attack because they know they'll lose. So that's probably the only reason that they're... Oh, now I've got them to deal with. Alright, it's gone up to halfway with one siege tower. Battle fight, cancel demands. All right. Attack, die for the if they if they fight me in the open ground, I'll win. That's just the way it works. The 13. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> that was creepy. Oh, wait, we can upgrade, can't we? Please tell me we can upgrade. Not you. Yes, you. Yes, yes. Rip money. Okay. That should give us the food that we need. Come on, bitted skulls. Just stay there. This has been such a weird episode. I wasn't expecting I was expecting it to be like full on action. 
but we're having to really take our time. I'm... As I said, maybe if we went all Skaven slaves in an army. But then again, I've actually beaten Skaven armies that had that many. And it wasn't even that difficult. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, they're worse than goblins. They're really weak. Like, the base goblins. And plus, they have the expendable traits. So if one of them routes, they're all fucking routes. So, yeah. Raiding. Raiding where? Oh. Oh no, that, that's... Oh yeah, I guess it is our territory. Alright, our clan rats are stronger now. Yeah, we want the armor as well. Alright, just because you guys have been so patient... Fuck, it's a walled city! Damn it all! <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, can we not just make... Yeah. Unleash corruption! Oh, they got croc cigars, otherwise I would just go for it. Fight my, my brothers! I don't have any storm vermin, actually. It just occurred to me, I don't have storm vermin. Anti-large storm vermin would be a good counter. It'd be a great counter, actually. Alright. Turn 30. Jesus Christ, we've just been sitting here. Alright. Don't worry, we're gonna win this. Uh oh, Teclas has showed up. Okay, we're not gonna win this. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Teclas. Leave me alone! I don't know how long I've been recording, actually. I don't know how long this episode is. Turn 30, and we're only at 195. Oh man, what a slow start. I really want to see a battle between Skrulk and Teclas. If he's in range, nah, he's clever. Second sight ordains it. Alright. Alright, we won't do it yet. We won't do it yet. Okay, you know what? We're going for it. Boyra the Contagious. We are taking the fight to the dwarves. Come on, there's only... What? Eight of them? Come on. We've, okay, we're gonna win this. Let's go, Skaven. Let's go. Alright. Here we are. Even Warhammer 2, the dwarves cannot escape me. Let's have a look at the Skaven Siege Towers, actually. Yeah, rudimentary. I, I figured as much. Wooden Warpstone. That'll do it. Okay. Who's got it? Who are you? Oh, yes, we have our Storm Vermin. Alright, they don't actually have any... Uh, anti... Well, they don't have any large units, because they're dwarves, obviously, but... Uh, I wonder if we land the other one there. Because I want to have as few towers hitting us as possible. Yeah, we'll be able to land there. Perfect. Alright, Lord, what have you got with me? you got Warp Lightning... And you can root them in place. Alright. The greatest of magic users. Alright, can you reach the gate? Oh my god, yes you can. Alright, nice. What do we got? We got clan rats, night runners, night runner war boss. What is their range? Is it like 70? It is. Okay. 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 They're fucking useless. So, really... There's only one victory point, so... I, you know what? We're gonna have one guy off on his own making babies. Oh, we have a... We have a battering ram as well. So this is now 1500 to 500. Watch how difficult this is. I'm going to pause it just so I don't take unnecessary losses. That is only eight dwarf. Eight dwarves, apparently. That's, that's a lot more. 
the Thunderers. We want to take them out. And away we go! Dun dun Doors v Skaven. I've waited so long for this. Why are these ones running up? You should be able to hit them. We told them out. Oh, that damage! Holy shit! Okay, all the resolve's broken. Can we do warp lightning on the wall? Yes, yes! More warp stone! I love that sound effect. That's, that's the official sound effect. Oh, fuck. Look, okay. Okay. I didn't realize how strong these play core catapults were. Dwarves cannot eat. Dwarves cannot handle the poison damage. It seems. Alright. You're set to fire at will. Alright, he's firing. He's climbing the wall. Dude, this is awesome. Waited a long time for this. Okay, that's silly. We can forget about the miners. Literally just hit the thunderers. I don't get it. What's up with these guys? Maybe it's the siege towers getting in the way? Warp lightning again. Plus we have menace from below. Oh, this is a beautiful Skaven siege, if I do say so myself. Alright, there's the lord there. Not gonna do it just yet. The siege towers are landing. Is the battering the battering ram is at the door? No, it's just somehow taking damage. All right. Well, suits me, I guess. All right, and two over there. This is how this game should siege. Storm vermin, yes. Here they come! <laughs> Storm them <in. laughs> I've never actually heard uh, heard their quotes yet. Oh, that's beautiful. Kill, kill! It is. It's just one syllable words you just repeat. That's what it is. Yeah, warp lightning right on your deck. Have fun with that. Menace from below. Let us enjoy the carnage, boys. Oh, this has been a fantastic display. I'm so proud of you, Skaven. Battering Ram should smash down the gate anytime soon. If I knew how strong those play core catapults were, I wouldn't... Actually, I... Uh, Siege Towers do make things a lot easier. You don't want Skaven climbing the ladders. I'll just route before they even get there. Alright, there's full health thunders there. Mine it. Oh, here come more clan rats. Storm vermin, you can go down there. Gate is down. Let's target our own units. <laughs> uh, Alright, storm vermin. Look at these guys, they're so cool. Storm vermin are rats bred for war. Dude. That was a mighty Skaven display. Rip dwarves. What was our casualties? 57? 57 casualties. And we're Skaven. That's why I was saying that's a masterclass. I mean, I know it's only 8 of them, but come on. It's we're Skaven. <laughs> Fenny. I'm sorry, Fenny. Wait, Iron Hammer? Isn't... Is he related to Belago? Oh, no. Alright. I like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of these play core catapults, by the way. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Great, great, victory. Good, good. great and powerful war boss. Plus six food. Hot damn. We just took objective alpha. Good work. Alright. I'm so proud of this guy. It kind of makes me want to get more uh, storm vermin. Really are cool. And the difference is, we only have one play core catapult. Only one. But we do have plague monks. Should we try it, ladies and gentlemen? I think so. 
Please do not fuck me up, Croxagars. Alright. Well, if Boiler can do it, or whatever the fuck his name is, then Skrult can definitely do it. And let us appreciate the realms of the lizard man, because they are so cool. I mean, it, you can definitely tell there's like a- whoa. Alright. You can definitely tell there's like an Aztec inspiration behind it. But the design of them, nonetheless, are so damn cool. So ancient, yet- I, I always like things that are ancient, yet surprisingly futuristic, you know? I always thought that was funny. Okay, there are only two towers there. Whereas there's like four there. And the capture point's right there, so I say we attack from the left. Now, Mr. Catapult. Please. Do. <laughs> Holy shit, are you okay? Oh no, we don't want Plague Monk. Sensor Bear is holding it. Let go of that. We want. Uh. Yeah. You can hold it. Alright, play call or catapult, you better do as well as your counterparts did in that last battle. Alright. Plague monks, plague monks. Surprisingly, I'm actually gonna probably charge in my. Um, I'm gonna charge in my plague monks first. Ahead of the clan rats. Nineteen hundred versus five hundred. Four to one ratio. Alright. I wanna send in the plague monks first. Might be a bad idea, but fuck it. Alright. Wait, can you destroy wall oh no, there we go. How can you destroy walls? That's really weird. Can you attack the walls? Hmm. They can... Nah, I don't think they can. I think it's just fucking up. Alright. Battering ram, hit the gate. You... Javelins, shields. We want it. The javelins are useless in close range. So, we're gonna focus on them. And you... Yeah. Alright, and away we go. The night runners. Yep, the towers are shooting at me already. Go, battering ram, go! Alright, let's see the damage. The dwarves weren't... Oh, clipped a bit off the wall, but missed. Lord Skrulk does not have bombardment. That warp lightning was really useful. What we do have, though, is a really good... Uh, armor debuff. Breath won't affect it. Come on, Plague Monks, go! <laughs> Look at the way they scurry. <laughs> That's an awesome battering ram, by the way. That is an awesome battering ram. It's terrifying. It's like a Mountain Dew penis or something. Alright, Skulk, Skulk! Yes, yes! He's got his Croc cigars at the back. He obviously can't put them on the wall. That's fine with me. Can the breath go through the wall, though? Nope. Oh! Nice. He seems to have taken most of his guys off the wall. That's a bold strategy. I guess we'll just hit that, then. Look at all those clan rats just waiting. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna send one guy there. I'm gonna send another guy there. Battering Ram's almost made it. These guys are getting wrecked. Yeah, you got the ladder as well. Plague Monks are on the walls. Almost. I love this is gonna be epic. Oh wait, I don't think I did that. Huh? 
Oh, yes! Fucking mirror. Or mirror, whatever. I don't know what I meant to say there. I surrounded them. I don't know why I said mirror. I think I was trying to think of a certain word. I can't really remember what it was. Whatever. I would say you know what I meant, but you have no clue what I must have meant. That was awesome, though. Fucking oh, sandwich. That's what I wanted to say. Why did I say mirror? <laughs> we fucking sandwiched them. What? What? These guys are damage dealers, and they poison. And remember, we don't have the better camera mod, so this is as low as I can get on the wall. Which is a shame. Look at these epic battles. I feel like they're- I feel like I'm goddamn Attila the Hun fighting in the desert earth. What the hell? Yeah, hit that. Alright, they're going like that. Battering ram. Gate's almost down, about halfway. Dude. You can summon five of these things. Jesus. Alright, menace from below. We can actually do that anywhere. We could actually just use this to open the gates. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. Oh my god. Be wow, Skaven, Skaven Siege Tactics. 101. For the vermin tide. Skrulk, get in there. Kill their lord. Clan rats, get in there. Clan rat attack tats. <laughs> Man, no spells for you, Jimmy. And now we enjoy. Go, Skrulk, go! Oh, he's so cool. I love his play. Like, they really upped the animations in Lord Fights, by the way. Like, really. Like, if you get Tyrion and Malekith, things like that. They're like, actually Queek as well, because Queek is dodge. The way they just dance about, it's amazing. Mazda Mundi. Skaven Siege Tactics, that is my new tactic. Menace from below to open up the gates. It's so good that you can do that, because it's pretty much how Skaven assaulted stuff. Ratatat. Alright, they're pretty much all dead. We'll send in the archers now. Oh. I said we'll send in the archers now. And you will retreat. No, go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. You are not fighting crocodiles. You are not fighting them. They're fucking crocodiles. Yeah, we'll try and sandwich him again. Alright, here come the Croxigars. Rip my entire army. Here they are! Oh my god, mutant crocodiles, why? Yeah, we'll debuff their armor. Actually, I just figured out a use for this thing. If you're fighting something that's gonna lose anyway, then you just, then you just poison all your guys and it doesn't matter. Oh, Skaven, I'm learning so much about you. Skaven, you have beautiful tactics. Yes. Rat-a-tat-a-tat. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you're gonna lose anyway, you might as well just poison all your dudes. It's the perfect strategy. I fucking... Oh, man. That's just perfect. Plague monks, go hit those Croxigars. See, uh, archers go on the thing. What's left of you, anyway? Skrulk, you're sort of there by yourself. Oh, no, Skrulk. Skrulk, what the f- I swear he just does what he wants sometimes. Yeah, what does is, what is our breath do against Crop Cigars? Boom. Okay, we'll debuff their armor yet again. I'm thinking the flanking force we we sent just didn't do much. But they are surrounded now. They have nowhere to go. They are cornered like rats. Giggity. The irony is delicious. Go 
But Croxigar's actually got wrecked by the poison. Let's do it again. I'm so proud of these siege tactics. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright, never trust auto balance. I now have my ultimate Skaven siege tactics. And I love the way they just fly. Boom. Those things are orgasmic. Only 200 losses. And we're Skaven. I'm so proud. I'm so proud that we did that. Oh, Skrull, you just... Oh, you you're, make me so happy. <laughs> I always go back to Skrull. That's one that always makes me happy. Alright, so... Do, 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 do. If you could load, that would be fucking great. There we go. Decisive the victory. Will, will rule the world. <laughs> Ooh, channeling stuff. Uh, ability recharge. Yes, yes. Province secured. Double yes, yes. Alright, so we are going to end the episode here. But as you can see, for what was a slow start, we've actually managed to gain some ground. We've got a war with the dwarves to finish up, and we've got Teclas to take out, and I am going to I'm going to destroy him. High elf or no high elf, you don't mess with Lord Skrulk. You don't mess with Lord Skrulk after just witnessing what I just witnessed. Uh, we've also got those two Skaven clans that are going to be our friends. Um, so, and also our food is on the up. So, things are turning around for the better. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Well, Razzle Dazzle, that's the end of the video. Thank you so very much for watching. I just wanted to do a quick shout out to all of our lovely patrons for their support. And of course, to our lovely captains of John Door as well. You guys freaking rock. So if you want to support the channel, go and check out all those links in the description. I Twitch, I Twitter, I do other things. So please check them out if you want. It's cool. You won't regret it. Probably will. I don't know.